lining up in New Jersey yesterday and today for this gas before the price changes. Welcome on a Friday morning. I'm Rob Morrison. And I'm Erica Tarantel. Darlene has the morning off. Chris Cimino has gone back to school. That's what he does on Fridays. And today he is live at the Greenvale School in Old Brookville, Long Island. Chris, I hear it's a very, very nice place. Actually, beautiful school. This is the third grade class. They suddenly got quiet. Well behaved. Good job, guys. They're working on some experiments, actually. Uh, some group making uh, thermometers, another group making barometers, another one testing water tension. This is a science class, a third grade science classroom that has wonderful science experiments going on. And we'll talk about that over the course of the morning and have some of these guys get involved in that as well. They've got a beautiful weather station. We'll show you that, too. Right now, we want to show you our weather conditions outside in Central Park right now. It's another mild start this morning. Temperature still in the upper 50s. About the science activities going on here here at the Greenvale School in third grade class, as well as more in your seven-day outlook coming up in just a few minutes. We'll see you then, guys. They're making thermometers and barometers. And they're so well-behaved. Oh, know. this is... They are. This is an innovative group we have here, so... Chris, we'll show you what I mean by thermometers and barometers in a minute. Maybe they're all still kind of asleep. More than likely. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. We'll talk to you very soon. All right, we're back, apparently. Chris Cimino there on the screen. He is at the Greenvale School in Old Brookfield. Pretty nice place. Back in the classroom. You learning anything, Chris? Yeah, back to school again. <laughs> Uh, a little bit, actually, and I'm going to show you what I have learned so far. You know, the first time I went back to school, it was first grade, so I'm actually moving up. I'm to third graders now, and these young men back here, they're making thermometers. Now, obviously, we wouldn't have them work with mercury or things like that, so it's water with dye. Now, how's this working out so far, guys? Good, good. Good? good. Everything's good? Mm -hmm. What they've done is they put this colored water in, inserted a hose, and some of that water's come up, and you've marked where it is right now. We're going to ask you to put in some ice while I go do the weather, and let's see what happens to these straw thermometers, if you will, all right? So work on the ice. No gloves, they're brave men, aren't they? All right, let's get a look at what's going on weather-wise. Uh, no ice today out there, that's for sure. Side. All right, we've got the ice water in. I don't know if you can see that real quick, where that red mark was. It has, what is it, what is the temperature done? Uh, it's dropped. It's dropped. Well, that makes sense. We put ice in, right? All right, so there you have it. You don't need something really complicated to make a thermometer. This is a great example. The kids understand what's happening to the liquid inside each one of these and why the liquid goes up and down the straw. So we'll talk to the teacher of the science class and a lot of the other students eagerly waiting in just a little bit when we come back to Greenvale School in a few minutes, guys. It's like the molecules or something, right, Chris? They, they start going slower. That's what's, uh, if I remember correctly, from my third grade it. science class. It's lot. all about heating, expansion, and, and, and constriction. That's right. Density. <laughs> Change Chris in density. Teacher. He's a brilliant man. He's brilliant. Chris, you are you our have another, density. another job, just in case. <laughs> we Thank want you to bring the What's experiment that? back here so we can give it a shot. See if we're successful. There you go. All right. <laughs> Any particular cool. color dye you'd want? All right. Oh, I don't know. Green. Surprise it's us. It's green week, right? Very good. All right. Let's do there traffic you go. We've right done now. We've green. We want to check in with Tom Zwire over at Shadow Traffic. Right, he is live at the Greenvale School in Old Brookville, Long Island, where already, Chris, some science experiments are underway. Can you imagine? Five in the morning, these guys are already experimenting with science, and we put our heads together, and they're working on the seven-day forecast for me a little bit later on. I've got these young ladies working on Monday through Thursday. And on the other side of the coin, we have the pressure. This is the pressure cooker here, because this is the weekend forecast, which we'll talk about as we work our way through the morning, which eh, doesn't look so great. But in the meantime, we've got one more good one coming up today. As we take a look outside, the sky is mostly clear right now, 76 degrees. But there are some changes in the works. These guys are working on the changes in the works for the weekend. We're going to show you that and a little bit more coming up in just a few more minutes, guys. Oh, no, I saw clouds and rain showers, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, you peaked. Uh, I peaked, oh well. Hopefully better news on the road. Shadow Traffic's Tom's Wire. And if you're doing some traveling, actually, on this Friday, it looks pretty good through the Northeast. There will be an increase in some cloud cover temperature-wise, uh, generally on the mild side. Chris Amino is back to school today, like every Friday. He is in Old Brookville, Long Island. Chris? At the Greenvale School, third graders, we put them to work early this morning. We've seen some thermometers being built. Now we're looking at actually what would be considered, what? What instrument Barometer. A barometer, right. And I guess what you've done here is you've got a tub of water, you had a test tube, and then what did you have to do with the test tube when it was filled with water? Um, we have to um, put clay on the ends and stick it in the water. And then what happens to the water when it goes up and down? What does that mean? Um, it, um... The pressure's changing, right? And that's what a barometer measures. So if it presses down on it, you'll see it go up a little bit higher. Pressure's rising, and if the pressure is less on it, it would drop. So again, 
simple, not that hard, and a great way for you guys to love something. What are you laughing about? You're giggling. <laughs> I heard that you were trouble. Are you going to be trouble for me this morning? No. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. With a face like that, how could you be trouble? Come on. Let's get a look at the weather picture outside right now. No trouble yet. It's pretty quiet, actually, as we be a little better by Thursday of next week. All right. You guys all experimented out? No, we have more left. We're going to talk more about some other things going on in the science classroom, and some very young, brave people are going to hold Madagascar cockroaches in their hands. <laughs> Did you ever? They're excited about it. <laughs> well, if you, if you haven't had your breakfast yet, do it now, and then when we come back, you'll see these creepy, crawly things. So, you know, plan your morning accordingly is what I'm saying. Yeah. Thank you very much, Chris, because there's no cockroach like a Madagascar cockroach as we all no, know. No, of all the cockroaches. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, I was saying that we, we miss Chris being here, but at the same time, if he's got cockroaches, it's yeah. okay. Long Island's okay. Yeah, he could stay where he is. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I really figured you'd say that. <laughs> Thanks, right. Chris. Great kids. We'll talk. He seems very natural in that classroom. It is Chris Cimino who has gone back to school, hit the road. He's out on Long Island. That's right. He is at the Greenvale School in Old Brookvale, where we're told, Chris, they have an absolutely state-of-the-art gorgeous weather center. And a fondness for cockroaches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, it's kind of the antithesis, right? We've got a beautiful weather center. Yes, absolutely. And we're going to show some Madagascar cockroaches. And the man responsible for all of that <laughs> is Rick Geismar. Good morning. He's the third grade science teacher here. Thanks for having us this morning and, and waking up early with us. You're not going to lose that thing, are you? That's okay. All right. Let's first talk about the uh, wonderful, really, the weather center and uh, the instrumentation you have here. Yeah, I have. We have this uh, the, the new Greenvale School Weather Center. Um, it's a uh, a nice weather station, remote outside. Uh, it gives us the temperature, rainfall, barometric pressure, humidity. Uh, relative all. humidity, wind speed, and wind direction. I so. like the bottom. You have sunrise, moonrise. It gives you the records for the date. Now, the kids can log information from this. And yeah, uh, how, how does this graph it and log it um, and use it for our studies over the course of the semester? Fantastic. So now, we well. also we showed earlier we, how we made these thermometers out of straw and actually a bottle, just changing the temperature. But there's kind of the creepy side of science, I guess, Absolutely. we want to talk about this morning. Don't yeah. run away from me. You're running away from me. We're going this way. <laughs> well. We've got, we've got a. Uh, these are Madagascar cockroaches. Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Hissing. They're, uh, I haven't yeah, hissing yeah. yet. Yeah. Well, it's you're getting way too close to me with that. <laughs> yeah, they. That's that's their one main uh, form of defense. They uh, will hiss mm -hmm. if a predator is trying to eat them, as probably <laughs> thinks Julian's about to do. Um, <laughs> and uh, they're they are forest floor dwellers in Madagascar. They they're the cleanup crew of the forest. I'm so. amazed at how well though they're all doing with. The cockroach. I mean, they seem pretty comfortable holding. Even the girls. Let's see if we can get to the girls on the yeah. other side here, right? Well, they've been they've been working with them, uh, insects and and wildlife and stuff like that since they were in first grade with me. So they they get a lot of experience, and I'm trying to teach them not to think of them as creepy. Right. They're they're really interesting and amazing animals. I and think it's a good thing we all share the same planet. So why not? Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's good at this early age to get them interested in something like that. Absolutely. And this is kind of neat. This caught my eye immediately because of the lighting. But but what are we looking at here? Yeah, well, that's an ant farm, and actually that was developed for. A, a space shuttle mission really? um, to yeah to see what ants and insects how they would react in space. They needed something that the ants could live in, and so that's like their home and their food and water as well. So it's sort of a whole self-contained environment in there. How cool is that? You guys enjoy the science class. It's a fun class. You have to admit, yeah. absolutely. All right, we'll be back with more from the Greenvale School. There goes the hissing cockroach. I want to hear some hissing. <laughs> I hear some shrieking. <laughs> that's go. coming from Listen, me. Listen. <laughs> I think we just did in a cockroach. No, he's, he's, he's fine. He's fine. Look, look, <laughs> folks at home, he's doing well. Anything to say? How do you get the hiss? Usually, well, they you get it. Nah. Tap him, but no, Camera shy. You know how it is. Yeah. All right, we'll see, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, clearly that's Dream. a very... We're going to go right into his, into his sleeve, right? You <laughs> better be careful. Clearly it's a very uh, calm, cool, and collected cockroach. Yes, you know? yes, no, yes. It's not And those kids no. are way calmer than me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. If you want Chris to come to your school, every time he goes out, we get lots of mail about it. You can uh, log on, WNBC. Tell us why he should come to your neighborhood on some Friday in the future. And we should say he doesn't bring the cockroaches with him. No, so. no, no, no. That one just happened to so be So invite here. him over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in the meantime, Chris Cimino has taken off. He's gone back to school today. That's right. He's live this morning on Long Island at the Greenvale School in Old Brookville, where... Apparently, they take science and weather very seriously, Chris. 
That they do. We've had some great experiments already this morning. Uh, those at home happy to know that the cockroaches are now back in their respective holding pin, and they should be there for the rest of the morning. Right, we hope? Yeah. All right, these young ladies are working on the seven day, putting their finishing touches. They're gonna help me out in the next couple of minutes with that. But right now, we'll take a quick look at what's going on on this Friday morning, off to a good start. Look at it. Come on, guys. All right, today, great finish, 76, 55. Good job, like that. This, this looks rough, tomorrow. Showers and thunderstorms, right? Mm -hmm. Not pretty. About 65. Sunday, bummer, more rain. 57. Monday, we've got some clouds and showers. And again, temperatures only near 60. You can see a lot cooler. Down here we have Tuesday. I finally see some sun peeking out. I like the way you think. Okay, and down here Wednesday, we've got some sunshine too. A little bit cooler, only 59. And low 60s on Thursday with some sunshine. You guys did a wonderful job. Thanks very much for helping me out this morning. Good artwork too. Those forecasts aren't so easy, are they? You felt the pressure, didn't you? You look, you look like you felt the pressure. Was it worth the money for it? <laughs> Not really. So would you just go away? Leave me alone? All right, let's take one last look at the seven-day, if you can, on camera. Get an idea of what's going to happen over the next seven around here. If that didn't work for you, personally, I like their artwork better than this. But nonetheless, you see the trend. Today's the last day in the 70s before we head back to the 60s and 50s. We're going to head outside, actually. They have a little pond set up here, a little garden set up just outside the science class. We'll see you with that in the next half hour, guys. Man, they have everything. Uh, just a, an observation about the, the little boys and the little girls. Mm -hmm. The little girls artwork seemed to make things seem, you know, they seem to look on the bright Nicer. side of things. <laughs> the guys who had to forecast the bad Absolutely. weather is just gray and black. Well, you know, and girls doom and are everything always a little nice pessimistic. And, you know, that's the way it works. That was the best looking seven day we've seen in we a like while. We like storms. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you very soon. Big changes on the way with the seven day forecast. We'll have that in a few minutes. I'm afraid I've got them worked up a little bit now that I brought them outside. <laughs> I've got to reel them back in. But we'll see how that goes in a few minutes. Sure, the teacher appreciates Watch that. The Stay fountain. out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much, Chris. A nice start to the week. He is at the Greenvale School in Old Brookville, Long Island. And, and he's enjoying the day, the nice morning. Stepped outside. Yeah. Good idea, Chris. It's beautiful out here, actually. A little chilly for some of the kids. They went inside and grabbed the sweaters and the jackets. But uh, before I get going about this pond, I want to bring in Rick Geyser again, the uh, teacher here at this third grade class in Greenvale School. This is a great opportunity to get hands-on in terms of uh, biology and all of the sciences, really, right? Yeah, oh yeah, they, they get to see things happening in nature, and the, the pond has been naturalizing. We've had it for about a year, right. so things are starting to come in all by themselves. This is a this is frog eggs that that's were pretty, that's pretty neat. laid in here this this spring, yeah, and uh, we've... I don't want to uh, lose the eggs, but you can see those little clear Yeah, they're, they're hanging yeah. on there. They've right, been developing for a few days now, so they're, they're probably going to be hatching, because they usually only take about three or four days to hatch out. So, so the kids will have an opportunity to see the whole life cycle. Yeah, we can see some tadpoles, and then the frogs will return. Once they're tadpoles in the pond, they usually come back every year. And That'll be, be fantastic. All right. right. Kids, get ready for some frogs. Yeah? No, they don't you seem like too frogs? thrilled. I think they like the Madagascar. <laughs> frogs? What's he talking about? Yeah. All right, let's get a look at the weather picture this morning to Thursday of next week. So it's really amazing to think that something like this will be hopping around and probably having some people screeching back here <laughs> in, in a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, they're, and they're really excited about it, too. Absolutely. Actually, this was found by one of the, one of the children when really? we were out here exploring, and they were turning over some leaves, and they said, hey, look at these. What's this on this leaf? And they're in there. Rick, thanks very much. Thank you, guys. We'll see you in a little bit with one last goodbye here from Greenvale School in just a few minutes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like Chris to come to your school, and why wouldn't you, you can log on to WNBC.com and tell us why. We want to go back one more time to Chris Semino at the Greenvale School in Old Brookville. It's been a great morning, Chris. It really has been a lot of fun. We've done science experiments, had some uh, creepy crawly creatures around as well. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about, uh, never mind. Uh, let's get one last look at the seven-day forecast. I want to thank Headmaster Stephen Waters and Rick Geismar, the third grade teacher here, did a great job. And all of you, a wonderful job. We have one message for back home. What is it? Here for New York. We'll see you guys a little bit later. Enjoy the weekend. <laughs> yes. They all get too. payment later. Yeah, right. Thank <laughs> you so much. All right, Friday morning, a big show coming up next, the Today Show. And that is what's happening today in New York. Have a wonderful Friday.